Hey, I'm Mutt75846631, or as other people call me, V. Welcome to the RFMC tutorial on how to make your film or animation look better using particle effects. This segment of the tutorial will be focusing on the animation part. For this animation, I will be using the lightning particle effect I found on the toolbox. You can use any other particle you want, but for this animation, I decided to go with a lightning particle. What I'm currently doing is that I'm setting up the particle effects right now. I will be editing the properties of the emitters to change them to what I want. What I'm currently doing is that I'm renaming them for easy organization. And as of right now, I will be changing the properties of the emitters. For each one, they will be spread angle 45, Chidori particle 2 will be speed 30, meanwhile Chidori particle 1 will be changed to speed 10. I'm still preparing the particle effect, I'm changing the desired size of them. As you can see, the spread angle basically changes the spread at what angle you want them. And now I'm just duplicating the particle emitters to make them look more powerful than what they originally were. I thought they looked a bit too weak, so duplicating them usually gives them a better look, as you can see. And for the other one, I'll be resizing it to Hole's body, as you can see. That's whole. And after I'm done resizing it, I'm going to move it aside. We'll be using this later. I'm not going to be adding any point light, surface light, or spotlight to them for reasons. I just don't think in daytime or daylight, there's no need. Now, I will commence animating it. I'll make a new file and name it Jazz Hands. Why not? I will now start to add me to the file as well as whole and during this segment I'll be speeding up the animation process I think animating it will take up too much time of the video so I'm just gonna go do it right now so after you're done making your animation now you would want to add your you know particle effects into the file or the animation I will be using C frame and not size as I had already changed it to my desired size so there's really no point for me using size. Of course, that'll be, you know, shown in another tutorial that I plan on making. So what I already did was that I already added in, already moved the particle emitter somewhere else and I already added it to the animation. And I will be doing the same thing. I'll copy and paste it to my desired location. Afterwards, I'm just going to start moving it to what I want to do. And uh, yeah, that should be good enough. Forgot to add it to the animation, so let me just move it back. All right, there we go. And well, let's just adjust it a bit and add to frame. There we go. And I'm going to copy and paste right there and that's pretty good although the animation is a bit delayed for me so I'm just gonna start moving my keyframes uh, maybe a little closer pretty good Alright, so what we will be doing right now is we're going to start adding the electrocution part into the animation. Just C-frame only. We're just gonna hide it first. Put it in the animation or add a keyframe. Uh, paste it there. More around there. There we go. And we're gonna move it to where hole is. We're gonna move it there, adjust it, and let's rotate it a bit. Pretty close. And we're just gonna copy, paste, copy, paste. And yeah, looks pretty good. Uh, let's add a wiggle effect right there. All right.
uh, messed up with the timing or uh, deleted the keyframes for me accidentally. So let's just copy this. Let's just add that back and paste it there. And there we go. Looks way better now. Uh, let's move the hole up. Or instant. Oh, uh, let's just... Do that. Paste it right there. And let's add a camera. So, my FOV is 25. Other people prefer 30 to 40, but I think 30... I think... Uh, I mean... 25 is good enough for me it just looks nice it's not too far and it's not too close so it's my perfect blend all right it's pretty good let's just change the keyframe to 30 or the fov to 35 uh, fan angle there so let's copy that paste it okay let's make it more faster there we go that right here all right wiggle oh uh got the fov selected wiggle gonna change it up a bit should be good so it's a little it's a little subtle so let's just oh and let's just move this up a bit and let's make it more powerful let's just change this to 0.6 oh i mean uh 0 0.06 and there we go looks way better now and that's pretty much how to add your particle effects, but let's see what this, you know, looks like. That's the animation. The particle effect really added the oomph that the animation would need compared to green screen. So for this segment, I will be jump cutting to a set. So here's the set that I inserted already called Forgotten Memories on the Toolbox. So far the map looks good with the lighting settings that we have, but it could be better. So we'll play around with the lighting uh, properties of this. Change it up, make it look nice. We'll be changing the diffuse, specular, scale, stuff like that. Make sure it, makes, it basically makes it look like that. And the reason why it's blue is because of the skybox I have, the default one. So let's just change it to an apocalyptic one. As you can see, it really changed the diffuse specular environment color. It made it a bit more orange compared to a light blue. But let's just mess around with it. And let's also change the outdoor ambience color as well as brightness. And let's change the time to 16. All right. And we will be playing around with the sun rays and that looks good. Let's also add a fog. So let's just change the color, make it a bit like orangey, brownish, reddish, a dusty color. And that should be good enough. And yep, around here. So, so far it looks good, but what it is missing is the fog surrounding the entire area. So what we will do is using Ben's technique as seen in the How to Make a Cinematic Roblox Movie by Ben. It is on our channel and I recommend watching it. If you're a filmmaker, it gives a lot of tips. So what we will be doing is we're spawning an egg. And see, just an egg, any regular egg. And we're also going to change the mesh scale to negative 3000, the X, Y, and Z. And there we go. Now we're in that, we it made the set look like we're in this dust storm now, which I like. And let's add a color correction. 
Let's make this, you know, let's change the color to that. Let's make it a bit bright. Add some contrast. And let's desaturate this. There we go. Looks so much better now. It really adds that apocalyptic look now. And now let's add a blur. Of course, adding blur is totally optional. But for this one, I think adding blur really gives, like, it helps the fog look a bit better. Makes the film look sort of foggy. But it also helps soften up the object's edges, as you can see. I like this look. Some people don't, but it's pretty much what you want to do with your set. I don't want to force you using blur, but it's up to you. But let's make this set really pop out. So what we want to do is we want to start adding a particle emitter. The particle that we will be using will be a dust particle or specs. So let's just search that up into the toolbox. Okay, I guess I'm just spelling it wrong. All right, there we go. Found it. So what you want? So what I will be actually be doing is I'm gonna adjust it to a certain location because I don't want to. I just want to make this a quick one. And let's change the FOV. Let's make this look cinematic. All right, it's pretty good. Uh, this is better. Now, it, now this set looks like it's ready to record in with this kind of FOV. Huh. Let's spam these particle emitters. All right, and there we go. What would really enhance this set would be adding some smoke, like ground smoke on the ground. In my opinion, I think it would make this set look or feel more realistic. So after finding your smoke particle, let's insert it and let's start adjusting the placement of it. All right, I'm gonna resize it, make it a bit, make it uh, cover more ground. So before we do anything, let's just change the light influence and light emission. Make it, you know, this and that. And let's go change the color of the smoke. Just make it fit in with the set. Alright, so now the set looks incredible. Let's just start duplicating it. Make Add some more smoke. Let's group it and let's put it right there. So wow. This set looks pretty dang good. You turned this really boring set into this really amazing one. Let's just move around. Let's just explore. Let's analyze what we just did. Just looking around this, I just can't believe that we just made one regular old set from like the free models into something amazing. So that's basically what you have to do for your set. Well, you don't have to, but that's what you should do or can do. It makes your set look so much better than it previously was. It'll add more depth to your film. Just, wow, that's all I can say. This was Mutt 75,846,631 or V. There will be another tutorial that will be made regarding how to make effects using only parts and meshes. But for now, Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you around.